Today is Thursday, September 24th. We are about to do a Pilates yoga combination class. First, we'll start out with a little Pilates, get us nice and warm. We'll finish off with some yoga that will keep us flexible for the day ahead, mind and body both, because we need that flexibility in our mind as well. So welcome back if you just did a lift and shrug with me. If you're just joining me now, welcome as well. Things to watch out for, especially in Pilates, is making sure you're working from the right place. We want to make sure that we're using our abdominals and not the lower back. So if you start to feel tension in your lower back, you know your form is not right. Also tension in the neck means you're pulling on your head or your neck and we don't want that either. So I'm gonna give you really good verbal cues to keep you safe and get you into the positions and uh, adjust accordingly. So if you feel something's off, you gotta really pay attention to what you're, you're doing, all right? We're gonna start with some relaxation. So let's go down onto our backs, stretch out. Let your arms rest, stick your sides, palms open to the sky, shoulders released away from your ears. We're going to start to breathe in through our nose. Big inhale, expanding belly back and rib cage. Big exhale through the mouth. While we're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Bring awareness to your arms. Nice long stretch in your arms from shoulders to fingertips. Stretch them long and straight. Let your arms go soft. Do the same with the legs. We want you to stretch your legs straight from your hips to your heels. Really tense the muscles in your legs, but keep the rest of your body soft. And go ahead and let's relax your legs. And now I want you to shift awareness into the belly. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to tighten the belly muscles. Holding it like that without holding our breath. Let those release. And again, navel to spine, hold in. And release. Let's try again. Navel pulls in, hold it. And release. Now let's aim the arms skyward. Exhale behind, reach out through fingers, push out through heels. And then feel your body go soft. Lift the arms back up and return them to your sides. And then once there, let's bring the right knee to your chest, give a close hug. Flex and point that right foot. Roll the ankle around, lead with your big toe towards the midline of the body. Let your foot rest, and then we'll circle that knee. And again, think about crossing it over the midline of the body and not circling the knee out past your hip. And then go the other way. Again, pulling it across the body. Now just hug your knee in, and we'll switch legs. In goes the left, out goes the right. Same thing, flex and point. And then roll the ankle slowly, leave with your big toe. And reverse. And then let rest your foot and we'll circle the knee. Bringing it across the body. And reverse. And then from there, just hug it in close. Bring both knees in, uh, give yourself that nice tight hug. We'll rock gently side to side, massaging your back a few times. Back to neutral and let's circle both knees around to so massage your low back. And let's reverse. These are all great things to do every day. And then we give ourselves one more nice tight hug. Now feel your belly tighten like we practice, press through the back of your ribs. Shoulders, neck and head, round off the floor, nose to knees, chin to chest, and release down. Try again, tighten the belly, round up, nose to knees, chin to chest, and release. Once more, round up, nose to knees, chin to chest. Now stay there, form a triangle with your thumb and index, fingers rest lightly on the back of your head, knees apart, heels together, toes apart, inhale, extend, exhale, pull, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, two more, inhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Now this time we're going to bring toes together, heels apart, pull in, heels together, toes apart. So we're going to make an arrow and a V, arrow 
B, arrow, B, arrow, two more, one more. Hold right there, now bring knees together, feet together, stretch up your toes, press through arches, pull back in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Keep going, but flex your feet. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Two to go. Inhale, one more. Inhale, exhale. Now just extend, hold, do a little point flex with your feet. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Arms at your sides, off the mat. Let's start to pump. Inhale for five beats and exhale for five beats. Level two, modify, bend your knees. Level one, modify, rest your feet on the mat. All three levels, we're up in our C-shape. Our arms are pumping a good six to eight inches high. Inhaling for five of those pumps and exhale for five. One more round. Remain holding. Tuck your knees in. Press your head down. Breathe. Whew. All right, very good. So now that we feel a little warmer, let's move into roll-ups. Start with your knees together, feet on the floor. Arms behind your shoulders, relax down our mat. Inhale, arms come up, shoulders drop back. Exhale, scoop the belly into roll up as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, tuck, and roll back down. Inhale again, arms up, shoulders drop back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Big inhale. Exhale, tuck and roll down. Again, inhale, arms up, shoulders drop back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Big inhale. Exhale, tuck and roll back down. Inhale again, arms come up, shoulders drop back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Big inhale. Exhale, top. Now, if you're confident that you're not using your legs yet, you want to stretch them out straight. Inhale, arms up, shoulders drop back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, top, and roll back down. Inhale, lift your arms, shoulders drop back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can. Inhale, exhale, top, and roll down. Let's stretch you more. Inhale, arms up. Shoulders drop back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can. Inhale. Exhale, tuck and roll down. Here's our last one. Inhale, arms up. Shoulders drop back. Exhale, use your belly to pull you up. Stretch as far as you can. Inhale. Exhale, tuck and roll down. Now that we're down, stretch your body nice and straight. Let's bring your knees back into your chest. Tighten the belly, press through the back of those ribs. Let's come back up into our C-shape. Arms at our sides, off the mat, palms facing up. Elbows bend, fingertips touch shoulders. Inhale, push straight, open, close legs. Exhale, knees, elbows. Inhale, push straight, open, close. Exhale, knees, elbows. Inhale, push, open, close. Exhale, knees, elbows. Inhale, push, open, close. Exhale, knees, elbows. Inhale, push. Open, close, exhale, knees, two more. Inhale, push, open, close. Exhale, knees, last one. Inhale, push, open, close, exhale, knees, and then elbows. Tuck your knees in, press your head down. And All right, let's move into some leg circles. I'm gonna stretch the right leg nice and straight, toes on the ceiling directly above you. Left knee back, foot on the mat for level one, or push it out straight for level two. Right leg crosses left, circles out and up. Draw me a circle about the size of a large beach ball on the ceiling, directly above you. Each circle has its own beginning and its own ending. Let's do one more and go the other way. Out and around, in and up. Last two, one more. Hold the leg straight, we'll bring the other leg up. Legs start out together, on the inhale they drop about half them down. Exhale, sweep around legs together. Inhale, lower, exhale around. So really pay attention to what you're feeling while you're doing this. If you're feeling strain in your back, 
You know your abdominals are not doing their job. Inhale down. Exhale around. Inhale down. Try one more. Inhale down. Exhale around. We'll hold. Now we'll switch. Keep your left leg straight. Right knee bent. Put on the mat. Level one. Or push it out straight from level two. Left leg crosses right. Circles out and up. One more, and then the other way, out first, and then in and up. And again, we're really accentuating the crossing over the part midline of the body, and not letting the legs circle out past the edge of our hip. Last two, one more, and then keep your leg extended. Now let's bring the other leg up. This time the legs sweep around, they pull together, exhale, they lift. Inhale around, exhale, fall. Sweep around and up. Again, making sure the abdominals are doing their job, not making your circles wider than your hips. Last two. Give me one more. Hold it. All right, so now we got the corks through. Both legs circle right and then to your left. And these circles are smaller. So keep them about the size of a basketball. Here's our last set. Here's our final circle. And we're there. Now tuck your knees in and breathe. All right, come here, let's roll up. Woo. All right, let's work on spine stretch. So for spine stretch, we need to sit up really straight, legs extended out in front of us, open them but no wider than your hips. You can sit on a pillow if it's hard for you to sit with your legs straight or your back straight, or just roll up your mat. So you want to just lift your hips a little bit. Arms extend in front, palms facing up. We inhale to prepare. On the exhale, we're going to tighten the belly. It scoops inward. We're going to round the back. Let your head drop through your arms. Push out through fingers and feet. Notice my shoulders are still over my hips. And then inhale, lift back up lower. Middle, upper spine, and head. Again, exhale, scooping the belly. And round out, chin to chest. Push out through fingers and feet. Inhale, lift back up lower. Middle upper spine and head. Exhale again, scooping the belly and round out your spine, drop your chin to your chest, push out through fingers and feet. Inhale, lift back up lower, middle, upper spine and head. Exhale again, scoop the belly and round your spine, drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, lift back up lower, middle, upper spine and head. Let's do one more. Exhale, scooping in. We're rounding, 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 dropping chin to chest, pushing out through fingers and feet. And then inhale, lift back up, lower, middle, upper spine, and head. Now let the arms come down. We'll do a couple shoulder rolls back front. Good. And then come off your elevation. If you're using it, we'll bring the legs together. Bend your knees. Place your hands behind your thighs. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Keep your belly button tight and find your balance on your tailbone. When you're ready, let's start to extend the legs. Go we can without rounding your back. Once you've found your balance point, let's add the arms. And then we're gonna lower and lift. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Four, and three, about two, and one big hold. Now let's open slowly down, 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 to the ground. Once you're down, uh, push out through your heels, your chest, your fingertips, breathe. Whew. Very nice. All right, let's bring knees back to chest. Tighten the belly, press through the back of the ribs, or back up into our C shape. Right knee stays in, left leg extends. Let's make a triangle with thumb and index fingers. Oops, not yet. Put your left hand on your right knee. Right hand goes on your right ankle, elbows are up. We're going to alternate arms and legs. 
knee to chest, toes to wall. Reach, 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 reach. Eight, and six, here's four. Three, two, big hold. Switch hold, switch hold, switch hold. Let's do two more. Switch hold, and hold. Now let's bring both knees in. So now it's double leg stretch. Hands are gonna rest on your ankles your shins or the tops of your feet. Inhale, start reaching out, stretch out. Exhale, sweep round knees in, inhale, stretch. Exhale, pull, inhale, stretch. Exhale, pull, inhale, stretch. Exhale, pull, inhale, stretch. Exhale, pull, inhale, stretch. Now reverse the arms. Out, in, circle out, pull in. Circle out, pull in. Out, try two more. Out, and one more. Out and hold. Straight single leg stretch. Right leg is straight. Hands go to the ankle as close as you can. Cap is fine. Don't hold behind the knee or below the knee. Left leg also straight. We're still in our C shape. Right leg draws towards your face. Left leg pulls away from your face. Then we switch. So what we're not doing is yanking on the leg. We're making sure that we're Really pulling the legs apart from one another. Pulse, 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 pulse. How about four, three, two, and one. Both legs together. Rest your head for a moment. Now we're all gonna make a triangle shape. Level one, you can insert the triangle under your butt. That'll help your low back and your belly. Level two, triangle goes on the back of your head. Everybody tighten the belly, press up into your C shape. Inhale, we're dropping slowly, one, two, three. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pull. So on these, you really have to hold that belly tight. Remember, we don't want to use our lower back. How about last two? Last one, inhale down, exhale pull, and rest your head down. Everybody tuck your knees in. Retighten the belly. Let's come back up into our C shape. And again, triangle for everybody. Back of their head, elbows wide. Right knee and left leg extends, and start with just the legs. One, two. Notice they're going straight in, straight out. We're not feeling any wobble in the hips. Got four, three, two, one. Hold, now lift up. Opposite arm, it crosses to your knee, and then we switch. Lift, twist, 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 lift, twist. Let's do four, and three, and two, and one. Hold. Switch hold, switch one more, switch hold. Knees in, Woo, rest your head down and breathe. All right, let's rest our feet all the way down. Cross your left leg over your right, open your arms wide, and let's drop our knees to the right. Take them as far as they go without lifting left shoulder. And then we'll come back up, change the cross, and we cross the other way. Same thing. Drop your knees to the left, eyes look right. And then come back to neutral. Now let's uncross. And we're going to keep both feet on the mat, space them apart about hips distance, and let your arms press at your sides, palms to the sky. We're going to tighten the belly and start lifting away from the mat, pushing up into shoulder bridge. So there's no weight in the neck. Got lots of activation in the gluteals and the hamstrings. And then exhale as you come down slowly, one vertebra at a time. Try again, tighten the belly as we slowly peel up. Press your hips nice and high. And then exhale as we slowly sink. Again, let's tighten the belly and slowly peel up. Press your hips nice and high. And exhale back down. Again, we'll tighten the belly and slowly heal up. 
Inhale, one drop, let's hold it, right knee in, extend your right leg up, and let's lower left, flex, point, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, we've got four, and three, and two, and one, hold up, little circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold it, now then we'll set that foot down and switch. Other knee and extend. Lower left, flex, point, down, up, down, up, down, up. Four, and three, and two, and one. Stay up. Little higher circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Big hold. Now we'll bend. Foot down, press your lips up higher, higher, hold, lift your arms, and then slowly start to melt down one segment at a time. Ooh. And then once you're down, give yourself a well-deserved hug, a few more rocks side to side, and then a couple knee circles massaging that low back, and then let's reverse. Good, and then from there, we're gonna send out one leg. One step straight, set the other foot down with the knee bent, and simply roll over onto your belly. Once you've made it onto your belly, we're gonna stretch out nice and long and straight. Try to reach a little farther with your right arm and your left leg, and then lift away from the mat. Come down with switch, left arm, right leg extend. Lower switch, reach out, lift. Lower switch, one more. Reach out, lift. And lower, now let's try to get both arms and legs reach out, we lift. Little more. And slowly melt. And then we'll slide your hands in closer to our shoulders. Elbows tucked in. Cross through the tops of the feet and the hip bones. Lengthen your spine. Lift up. And let's press back. Tailbone so meets your heels. Forehead meets the mat. Good, now let's scoop the belly in, round, 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 come up the cat. Sink your navel, lift your tailbone, lift your head, open your heart, cow. Again, exhale, round, cat. Inhale, cow. Once more, we round out the cat. And then we open for cow. And then just find your way to neutral. Push your right leg behind, extend your left arm forward. There's spinal balance. Let's lower down and switch. Lower switch again. Lower switch. Let's try two more. Reach. And our last one, reach. And we're back to all fours. Let your big toes touch, separate your knees, let's push back. Tailbone meets heels, forehead meets mat. And there we are back in extended child's pose. From here, I want you to keep your arms extended with your palms flat, fingers wide spread. Tuck your toes and start to lift your tailbone. Allow your heels to drop as close to the mat as you can. Dangle your head through your arms. Really press down into the index finger knuckle area, kind of lifting the outer edges of your palms. And then let's walk our dog a few times. We're going to lift him over each heel individually. And then let's raise both heels and press them back down. From there, we're going to inhale ourselves into plank. If you want to modify, you can simply lower your knees, but keep that straight line from your knees to the top of your head. Exhale back up into down dog. Inhale to plank or modified plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank or modified plank. Now let's all modify. And as we lower, the elbows go wide. Chest comes down, hips come down, elbows come in. Inhale, lengthen, rise, cobra. Exhale, elbows wide, going down. Tuck elbows in. Inhale, rise, coming up. Exhale, down. Inhale, rise and lift. 
Now let's tuck our toes and back up into down dog. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale again, down dog. Inhale to plank. Now from there, you can modify or stay in one piece. Lowering down, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows tuck in. Inhale, rise, cobra, exhale, tuck toes. Downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank. Lowering down, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, elbows come in. Inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. From there, let's take a giant step forward with the right foot. Right knees over ankle, weights and big toe, second toe, eyes looking out, runner's lunge. Open your arms and show me your airplane lunge. Hands released to the mat. Sink the left knee down, press through the top of your left foot. Rise into crescent moon. Open your arms, open your heart. Fold forward. Tuck your toes, lift your knee. Back and lunge. Right foot back to plank. Push back up into down dog. Left leg steps forward. Once you've got your foot between your hands, knee over ankle, weight in big toe, second toe, eyes looking out, Better lunge. Add your arms for airplane. Release your hands to the mat, sink to the right knee, press through the top of your right foot, rise, press the bone. Exhale forward, hands to the mat. Lift your right toes, we're back in lunge. Right foot steps forward. Big toes close, heels apart. Pull your ribs against your thighs. Cradle your elbows in the palms of your hands. Allow your upper body to just hang in here. Let your fingers release. Inhale, roll up. Reach to the sky. Exhale to your heart. Inhale to the sky. Exhale to your heart. Once more, inhale to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale, fold. Inhale, roll up. Reach to the sky. Exhale to the heart. Inhale again to the sky. Exhale as we fold. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Right foot back, left foot back, hold plank. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale again to plank. And exhale, down dog. Let's step the right foot forward between the hands, bringing us back into lunge. And then push your left heel down and turn your left toes out. Think about aligning your right heel with the back of your left heel. Knee over ankle, weight in big toe, second toe, hip bones square to the front of your mat. Add your arms, warrior one. Lower them and lift. Try again, lower and lift. And then let your hands press together at your heart. Push your right leg straight without locking. Revolve your upper body. Now we end up facing the wide edge of our mat. Toes in, heels out. Feet a little wider than those hips. Open your eyes, light pointed star. Let's lower the right as we lift the left. Slide your right hand down the outside of your right thigh. Keep your left hand reaching high to the sky. Come back up, return to your star. Left hand lowers, right hand rises. Edge the left hand down, but keep reaching higher with the right. And then bring yourself back in the star. Keep your belly button tight, let's hinge forward. Nice flat back. There's our straddle airplane. You need to modify it so you can put your hands on your thighs. 
Now let's start to fold forward, let your hands come to the mat. You can bend your knees as much as you need to here. We're going to inhale, look out. Exhale, we're going to try to sink a little deeper. Truly letting go of the upper body. Let's nod our head, yes. Check it now. And then just let it be. Push down to your palms. Arms become straighter and straighter. Inhale, flat back. Exhale into your airplane. Inhale, back to standing. Rotate palms to the side. Turn your right toes to the front end of your mat. Align your right heel with your left arch. And we keep the front of our body facing the side of our mat. Once ready, bend the right knee. Let it find its way out over that ankle. Center your body weight equally into both feet. And feel that weight in your right foot. Now it's between your big toe, second toe, and third toe. Reach a little farther with the right as you lift the right, lower the left. Turn your right palm to the sky. Reverse warrior. And then let's come back to warrior two. Pull the right leg straight without locking and we're back where we started. Now we're ready for triangle. So our left hip's gonna pull left. Our right arm's gonna reach up as far, far, far up as we can. Once we can't go any further, let's lower the right and lift the left. Press your body open against that invisible wall. Breathe into your triangle. Take one more inhale. On the exhale, let's bend the right knee. You need to place your right forearm on your thigh or reach your right hand to the mat, extended angle. Now let's revolve upper body. Return to the ball of your left foot, that puts you back into lunge. Inhale, right arm to the side, exhale, revolve with the waist, and there's our twisting lunge. Exhale, your right hand down. Now let's step the left foot forward. Toes closer, heels apart. Inhale, let's roll up. Raise high, touch the sky. And exhale again to the heart. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. Exhale, sink deeper. Left foot back, right foot back, plank. Exhale, lower, elbows wide, chest down, hips down, the elbows tuck in. Inhale, rise, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, return to plank. And exhale, down dog. Left foot steps forward, runner's lunge. So once you've built your lunge, push your right heel down. Align your left heel with the back of your right heel. Left knee over ankle, weight pressing into big toe, second toe, we lift upper body. Got our hips forward. Bend the arms, warrior one. Again, let's lower and rise. Lower and rise. Lower and rise. And then let your hands come together at your heart. Start to straighten your left leg without locking it out. Revolve, so now we end up facing the wide edge of our mat with our toes and our heels out. And then outstretch your arms for five point star. Open your heart, open your throat. And then let's lift the arms, let the hands meet. Place all of your fingers, press your index fingers together. And then let your arms come forward so we feel a nice deep stretch across the upper back, the back of our shoulders. Then we can reopen to our star. Hinge forward, moving through airplane. And then release your hands to the mat. Once on the mat, inhale, flat back, look out. 
Exhale as we sink a little deeper. Let the elbows bend. Let the head drop. And bend your knees as much as you need to. Again, we'll nod the head yes. Shake it no. And then just let it be. And then from there, press down. Pushing the arms straight once again. Inhale, flat back, look out. Exhale, back in the airplane. Inhale, slowly rise to standing. Return to five plane and star. Left toes turn to the front edge of our mat. Align our left toe with our right arch. When we feel ready, let's bend the left knee, finding our warrior two. So we're looking out past that left hand. Feeling that reach across the arms. Try to extend a little farther with the left. And as we do, we lift the left, lower the right. Turn your right thumb towards the sky. Reverse warrior. And make your way back into warrior two. And then pull the left leg straight, and we're right back where we started. So now we're ready for triangle. Imagining we're against the wall. You're just going to pull the right hip to the right. Keep your back pressed against the wall. Reach the left arm out as far as it will go. Once we can't go any further, we can lower the left and lift the right. And feel like you're being drawn towards the sky. Everything is lifting and opening. There's no sinking or compressing. We're just breathing into all that space. Let's take one more inhale. Now as we exhale, we'll bend the left knee. You can either place the left hand on the mat or the left forearm on the thigh. Extended angle pose. Exhale, let's revolve upper body, hands to the mat. Once you're back in lunge, inhale, left arm out to the side. Exhale, revolve in our waist. There's our twisting lunge. Let's exhale the left hand back down. And then we're going to step the right foot forward. Toes close, heels apart. Inhale, let's roll up. Reach high, touch the sky. Exhale to your heart. Again, inhale, touch the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look out. And exhale, go deeper. Now bend your knees, pull your knees closer together as you sink your hips down. Hands to thighs, lift your ribs away from your thighs. We'll add our arms and that becomes our chair pose. And then while we're in chair pose, see if you can lift your heels. And that becomes our balancing chair. And then let's press the heels back down. And rise from the chair. You turn your hands to your heart. Inhale, extend. And exhale, fold forward. Let's inhale, look out. And exhale as we sink. Try extending your right leg behind your hip level. Push out through the heel of your right foot. And your hands form a tripod with your left foot. So we can stay in this tripod balance. Or if you want to try half moon balance, align your left thumb with your left pinky toe. Start to roll your right hip open. And then add that right arm towards the sky. Exhale, right hand down if it's lifted. We'll step the right foot in. Let your ribs rest against your thighs. Cradle your elbows in the palms of your hands. Bend your knees as much as you need to to let go of that upper body. And then let's release hands to the mat. Legs are straight. This time extend your left leg behind you hip level. Push out through the left heel and your hands form a tripod. 
Stay in tripod or align your right thumb with your right pinky toe. Start rolling your left hip open, adding that left arm to the sky. Half moon balance. Keep your weight pressing in your big toe, second toe, third toe. Exhale, left hand down if it's lifted. And now we're going to step back with our left foot, bringing us into our lunge, and then step your right foot back and show me your plank. Left shoulder over left wrist. Let's turn to the side. Here's side plank. Modification, send the side of your left knee to the mat. Let's come back around into full plank and switch sides. So you've got right shoulder over right wrist. Left arm reaching to the hot side, modify if you need to. We'll exhale back around into our full plank. Then come back up into your downward facing dog. And then let's walk our dog a few times, lift and lower each heel individually. Raise up both your heels and push them back down. And then go ahead and lower onto all fours. Once there, we're going to sink our navel, lift our tailbone, lift our head, open heart cow. Exhale, scoop round cat. Try again, inhale, open cow. Exhale, round cat. Once more, inhale, open. And exhale, round cat. And then make your way back to neutral. Let's extend the left leg behind and push out through the left heel. Re-extend the right arm for your spinal balance. Let's bring the right hand down and step the left foot forward. We're going to place both hands on the inside of the left foot and then start to pull the top of your right thigh towards the mat. Meanwhile, left knee is over ankle. And if you want to, you can inch a little farther down, deepening the stretch. And then from there, let's walk the hands back in. Let's inhale the arms up. Come back into crescent moon. And fold forward. Hands to the mat. Tuck your right toes. Lift your right knee. Return to lunge. Step your left foot back. Press up into down dog. And then we're back to all fours. Extend the right leg. Push through the right heel. Add the left arm forward, spinal balance. And then bring the left hand down and we'll step right foot forward. Keeping both hands to the inside of your right foot, start to pull the top of your left leg forward, keeping right knee over ankle. And then easing further down if you'd like. And then as we inhale, let's walk the hands back in. And we'll move back up into crescent moon. Exhale as we fold. And now just take the right foot back. And we're back onto all fours. And then from all fours, we'll separate the knees. Touch your big toes. Push back with your tailbone. Back into extended child pose. Let's pass right arm to left armpit, sink your shoulder to the mat. And then come back out and switch. Passing left to right, sink shoulder down. And then bring the left arm back out and push out. 
Slide your hands in closer, press through your palms, lift. And then from there, let's come around and seat. All right, let's stretch your legs out straight. Keep a little bit of the bend as you hinge forward. We're gonna hook around your big toes. Pull your ribs closer to your thighs. And then while you're doing that, start to push your legs straighter. See if you can melt a little farther down. And then let's release and come up. We'll keep the right leg straight as we bend the left knee. Walk your foot in as close to your body as you can, maintaining contact with those sit bones on the mat. Let's take the right arm, wrap it around the bent left knee as we inhale, we'll sit taller and straighter. Exhale, start to rotate at your waist and look over your left shoulder. And then see if you can pass the back of your left hand around so it comes out on the right side of your hip. And then as we exhale, it's on twist and switch. Left leg goes straight, right knee bends, pop your foot in. Keep those sit bones on the mat. Wrap the left arm around, inhale, sit taller, sit straighter. Exhale, rotate, looking over that right shoulder. And then pass the right arm around so you can get the back of your right hand to the outside of your left hip. And then as we exhale, we can untwist. Let's bend both the knees and let the soles of our feet come close together. We're gonna walk our heels in a little closer to our body. Let your feet rest in the palms of your hands. Relax your shoulders, lift and open your heart. Breathe into your butterfly. And then as we exhale, we can soften a little bit. And let's change to a tailor style position. Once there, let your fingertips extend on either side of you. Inhale, lift. And exhale to your heart. Inhale, lift. And exhale, open. Again, inhale, lift. And exhale to your heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, open. Inhale, lift. And exhale to your heart. This time we're gonna inhale, lift, and as we exhale, we're gonna rotate left as the arms open. Your right hand reaches in front of you, your left hand reaches behind you. We're gonna sit a little taller, a little straighter. And then we'll inhale back up. Exhale, rotate right, same thing. So the arms are opening, we're rotating, sitting taller and straighter. And then inhale back to center. Now exhale the right hand down, keep the left arm high. We're gonna side bend to the right. Come back up and side bend to your right. Back up. Once more side bend and then sweep forward. Reach out, come up and side bend. And then lift and lower. Now let's lift the right arm. Side bend left, and back up. Again, side bend, and lift. Once more, side bend, and lift. And this time we're gonna side bend, sweep forward, reach out, come back up, and side bend, and then we're back up, and let that arm come down. Let's roll our shoulders from back to front. Turn that into a bigger circle using the whole arm. Good, and then from there, just let your hands rest on your knees, palms open. Drop your chin to your chest. Rotate right ear to the right shoulder. Chin back down, rotate left. Drop the chin, rotate right. Drop the chin, rotate left. Once more, drop the chin and rotate right. And then let your right fingers rest just above the tip of your left ear. Release. 
Chin to chest and then roll to your belly. Left hand just above the tip of your right ear. And then just come back to that neutral place. And just close your eyes and breathe deeply. Bring our hands back to our heart. Inhale up. Exhale wide. And then bring your hands together. Yay, you made it. All right, very nice. So that was our Pilates yoga combination for today. Keep your muscles nice and juicy, meaning well hydrated, drink lots of water. Don't forget those random acts of kindness. Pass them on all day long. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Wear your mask, cover your nose and your mouth. Wash your hands 20 seconds at a time. Keep your distance. All those things make a difference. So, 